Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about a new indexing tool. Um, it's a plugin for your WordPress sites and it's going to help you make sure that all the articles that you send out, whether you're sending them out to Easy in Articles, Go Articles, Article Base, um, on UAW, uh, on MAS, anywhere that you send content, we're going to help you get it indexed. Because while you spend all your time writing this content and distributing it, and the idea is that you want to get links back to your site, which you know is obviously a good thing. What if those articles aren't indexed? What if Google never find those articles? Um, well, then they can't find the link that's in them back to your money site, and pretty much you're wasting your time. And we found this to be a big problem. So we had the indexing tool developed. It works as a simple plugin, just upload it like any other plugin and then you will add in the RSS feed from your um, articles. You add in the RSS feed which contains your articles. We, I've done other videos and we're going to show you how to create your own RSS feeds, how to mix RSS feeds up so you can put two into one and just use that. Lots of other bits and pieces of information in other videos. Um, I'm just going to show you basically how to find your RSS feed on eZine articles today and how to put it into the system. Okay, all you've got to do is put your author name in, click on the button and find it. There you go. Now, you'll see this little RSS button here. When you hover over it, this extra box with your feeds opens up. Right click on the orange button and copy link location and then come back there and paste. You can change the wording here of the title that will be above the links when they're displayed on your page. And what the indexing tool does is it goes off and it finds any of these articles from this feed that aren't indexed and then what it will do is it will display them on the posts and pages that you tell it to. And obviously as Google come and spy to your website, they find those links, they follow the link, they index the article, and then the next time it's checked, if the indexing tool finds that it, that article is already in Google, it's already indexed, it removes them from the list. How many links do you want to show? And do you want the links to show on posts? So you can have them show on just pages or on posts. This will give you a list of all the pages that you have. So you can pick to show them on all of them, just some of them. Um, really the option is, is yours. I always have it show on posts and I normally pick as many pages as I can. Delay between checks. You can set this to be 10 seconds, minute, 5 minutes an hour. Okay, what the software has done is it's gone off and it's taken my feed, okay, this RSS, and it's displayed all the articles that are in it. There you go, it's quite a lot in there. Now, what it will do is it will go off and it will check these gradually. It doesn't go and check them all at once. You don't want to go and hit. Google with a, a million requests all at once. It will go off and do them bit by bit. Okay, um, and if it finds they are indexed, it will put a green tick next to them. If it finds they are not indexed, then it will put a red cross on them, and it will display the links on your pages and posts. And all it will do is this is the Gout site it will display them here at the bottom of every page and post that you have told it to. So if you tell it to only show it on a couple of pages, that's what it will do. If you tell it to show on every page, it will show it on every page. It really is that simple. And it will just go through the list. So if you put in a hundred RSS feed with a hundred articles and it finds 50 of them are not indexed, it will just go through the list 
and it will gradually get them indexed. Now, obviously, if you've got a site which gets spidered a lot, then there's more of a chance um, that Google will find these links and will index them. And that's really there is all there is to it. And what you can do is you can put different RSS feeds in. So maybe you put your eZine article feed into this site. You put your Go article feed into another site. Um, you could mix them together and then put the RSS feed into every site you've got. You can put this indexing tool on any sites that you own. Okay, so you don't have to just put it on one. You can put it on high PR sites, you can put it on low PR sites. And one of the extra videos I've done is showing you a lovely little plugin that I use, and that will tell you how often your site gets spidered and which pages get spidered the most. So if you want to, you can only show your links on pages that get spidered a lot. Okay, I hope you can see the benefit of this. Remember, you're doing all this work, putting your links out, and if they're not getting indexed, you know, if the content that you're writing isn't getting indexed, then it's not doing you any good at all. Okay, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask away, but um, I hope you like the indexing tool.